Everyone who's ever worked on a project or tinkered a prototype knows how easy it is to get your workstation all cluttered up and full of halfway done projects. I personally like keeping my station clean and organized, not just for aesthetic reasons, but because it helps me in the prototyping process. One of my favorite products to use is an IKEA pegboard. I have one right here. It's called a Scotty's. At least that's how I think it's pronounced. I love this line of products. They are just amazing to work with when organizing things. The problem being though, that the closest Ikea to me is about a 30 minute drive and it's the middle of a pandemic. Luckily, I have a 3D printer, so I can just make anything I want. If you guys look right here, this red one, this red one, and this red one, as you can tell, I like red a lot. They're all 3D printed on my ANET 8 modified to an AM8. So for today's video, it's kind of there's gonna be very little talking or anything. It's gonna be it's kind of more of like an ASMR style video, and I'm gonna be showing you guys a process of how I print anything I need for my IKEA pegboard. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that short little kind of ASMR montage. Uh, right here, I'm just making sure that um, the ruler kind of fits in within the hooks. I was a little worried that maybe it wouldn't be able to, but as you can see from this close up, the clearances is just amazing. Anyway, thanks for watching that video guys. If you guys 
want to see more content like this please subscribe and like a video and as always feel free to comment i got a bunch of projects i'm kind of working on right now but between working and getting ready for school got a lot going on right now but uh, yeah you know this is kind of a little thing i just wanted to film today um keep a lookout for more content guys all right bye